Hey, good morning, friends, and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, it's June 6th. The river is still full of walleye. Guys are getting them jigging. Guys are getting them pulling harnesses. So we are at the river this morning prepared to do both. Got a buddy with me today who's not had an opportunity to do much walleye fishing. So we're going to smash them. The morning jigging bite has been really hot for the last couple of weeks. So we started the day by jigging first thing in the morning. Unfortunately, jigging produced mostly junk species and only a couple of keepers. With only three keepers in the live well after two hours of jigging, it was obvious that it was time to go to plan B. We needed to pull some meat. All right, so our gear is pretty self-explanatory. We've got a... We've got a six and a half or a seven foot rod with somewhat of a limber tip. You don't want to go anything heavier than medium action. We've got our bottom bouncer today. We're going to run three ounce and four ounce bottom bouncers. And our crawler harness on about a four foot leader. And because we don't know what colors are have been going good out here, we're going to run an assortment of colors till we kind of let the fish tell us what we're doing. I like to dip my crawler in the water for a minute before I put it on. Yep, it sounds like you, you know the program, Brandon. My one buddy's always trying to tell me we're going too fast. But if the blade ain't spinning, you're going too slow.
And we got our crawler. We got our crawler on the business end. We're good to go. One of the trickiest elements, to, really the trickiest element to this is your speed. We want to go just fast enough, slightly faster than the current, just fast enough to keep our blades on our crawler harnesses spinning. You definitely want to have a snap swivel at the end of your main line before you attach to your bottom bouncer to keep from getting line twist. And you certainly want to have a swivel between your bottom bouncer and your crawler harness. The secret sauce to pulling crawler harnesses and bottom bouncers is the right speed. Regardless of wind condition, you're going to point your boat downstream. And you want to try to maintain a speed that's slightly greater than the current. And you need to make sure that you're going fast enough that your blades are turning. More often than not, that's going to mean somewhere between 2.4 and 3 or 3.2. 2 to 3 miles an hour is generally 2 to 3 miles an hour is generally going to be about the speed. But depending on wind speeds and wind direction, you'll make slight adjustments for the wind. But you definitely want to have your boat always pointed downstream. And you definitely need to be using your electric trolling motor to troll slightly faster than the current. Ideally your line ideally your line would come off of your rod tip at roughly a 45 degree angle, 45 to a 60 degree angle maybe. And you definitely want to see that your blades are turning in the water. That my friends is the secret sauce to pulling bottom bouncers and crawler harnesses. You gotta listen to the fish. Yeah. Oh, 
that's an ACS. That's a nice quantum right there. Big walleye. Big walleye. Keep bringing it. Keep bringing it. Yeah. Great fish. Yeah, bud. Well, I mean, your walleye cherry is pop, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. You've caught. You've caught you've caught you've I don't even want to touch that thing. Holy you God. have caught enough. I'm going to tell you that right now. You get to drive the boat now. <laughs> how, do you, how do you hold these things? I don't know, but I need to. Oh, I'll show you here. Hold them like your Bill Dance. I don't know who the heck that is. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't see that. If you have a you're, you're holding it just like Bill Dance. Let's just I'll tell you that. If you ever fish in the walleye tournament, better call that kid. <laughs> Give him the bowl. Right? He'll do his thing. Friends, it was super important to me to have a good day today. I took along one of my son's best friends. This is a young man who's had a lot of spiritual influence in my son's life. It was very important to me that this guy had a great day on the water. Our morning game plan was to do some jigging. And we really thought we would jig up a limit and then just go do some, drag some bottom bouncers just for fun. But after two hours of jigging, we had two fish in the box, maybe three fish in the box, and it looked like we were gonna have a bad day. And honestly, I said, you know what, let's, let's abandon this jigging game plan, let's go pull some crawler harnesses, see if we can salvage this day yet and pulling those bottom bouncers and crawler harnesses, dragging meat, saved the day. We picked up a dozen fish in, in about an hour. Guys, when it's this late in the season, this is the, today's the 6th of June. When it's this late in the season, you never know if a jigging bite's gonna be hot or if the crawler harness bite's gonna be hot. Or some days you can get away with doing both or whatever you feel like doing. But once that water temp hits, right close to the 60 degree mark, upper 50s, 60 degrees. I never come to the river without gear to do both jigging and crawler harnesses. So hey guys, this was just a real quick story of how crawler harnesses save the day. If you've not yet got into the crawler harness game, I encourage you to pick up a little bit of equipment and try your hand at dragging crawler harnesses. It can be just absolutely some of the most lights out fishing of the year, guys. Hey, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching Team Jesus Outdoors. Guys, I hope you've hit that like button. Make sure to click that subscribe button so that you get notified of all of our videos. Friends, thanks for all your support. You guys that are supporting us on Patreon, I really appreciate your support. You guys that have clicked that join button and you're supporting Team Jesus Outdoors on YouTube, I really appreciate your support. Guys, I hope to see you out here on the river. God bless tight lines. We'll see you soon.